Hey, it's Val. And it's Michelle. And welcome to the Wind Down from the Wind Down TV. All right, come on, y'all. Let's get started. <laughs> So if you've been following us, you know the drill. And if you haven't been following us, then you've been missing out on a whole lot of fun. So like, subscribe, share, comment, and follow at The Wine on TV on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. And so you guys know, we're not sommeliers or teachers. We're two girlfriends, we got together, and we decided we wanted to learn about wine. So V, tell me about the grapes for um, Quincy. So today we are trying Quincy, a Sauvignon Blanc, which is fabulous. I love Sauvignon Blancs. So, I do too. Right? Because they're always just so light yeah. and so crisp. So typically, yeah. typically Sauvignon Blanc is a pale straw color with a hint of green. The tasting profiles are zesty, acidic, intense, aromatic. And the dominant flavors are grass, grapefruit, gooseberry. This has a lot of bell pepper and green pepper in here. Oh my God. See, I was never a Sauvignon Blanc drinker before we started this show. And I will say really? that I've learned because I had never really yeah. tried it. So I've learned a lot and now I like Sauvignon Blanc. I think I, you know, I do like the Loire as we're drinking. I do love, particularly Quincy, but I, I think I'm still like, I love a good Marlboro. I love a good Marlboro, yeah. I do. Well, I still but love Quincy is bad. bad. I mean, I love me some Quincy, you know? Really? This is my first time trying Quincy. If I were to choose something from the Loire, it would be Quincy, is what I'm okay, saying. This is my first time having Quincy. So obviously you've had it before. I have never. This is my first time too. Oh, okay. Cause the way you, okay. So, no. okay. No, it's not my first time. It's not my first time. <laughs> okay. So it's my first time having it. And like I said, you guys all know me. So, you know, I'm a bubbles girl and I'm learning all about this. Okay. So this is my first time having Quincy and I will say that it's yeah. light. I like it. You know, I also like a little bit uh, to try, um, especially white wines, um, on the warmer side, I feel like I get so much more flavor when they're a little bit warmer yeah. versus being like free, like really cold and on the fridge. For me, for me personally, mm -hmm. I feel like all the hidden, all the flavors are hidden. But once it warms up a little bit, it gets like, I would say like room temperature, but warmer than cold, just like out of the fridge, you get so many more flavors. The moment that like, I agree with you out, on that. You just I like, totally agree with you on oh, that. Oh wow, you know? Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah. When it's too cold, you don't get it. Yeah, because right now, for this, for me... In my humble opinion. I yeah. am smell. I taste of green apples. I, I honestly, I do. I, I, I taste this lime and... Uh, but I taste, like, crispness and... You know what I get? I don't know if this is... I, I feel like I get some oak from it. I don't know why. I feel like there's some form of well, Michelle, I it's a tad not a lot not like a yeah. traditional yeah. um yeah. chardonnay or anything it's very light yeah well, so i'm not i'm not sold on on like sometimes you can have it and it's so balanced it's so like light you can barely taste that it is oak and then there's some things that you've tried that i you know we've tried together and separately and stuff like that that's been like too much oak. right and so I, I'm learning that that's not really my favorite. So is it flavor. Like this? Are you tasting a lot of oak or just a little bit of oak? So just a little bit, just a little bit. It tastes balanced, but I, I, I like it. It's also, there's a refreshing component to it that I like, you know? And that citrus, again, like a lot of citrus from it. Mm -hmm. Too. So tell me about the region. It's enjoyable. Mm -hmm. Hello, Dad, please let Granny put on her glasses. Okay. Now, Loire has been praised for its stately Renaissance era chateaus, but this picturesque valley produces wines of just about every style. So, just located south of France, the Appalachian lies along the river of the same name and stretches from the Atlantic coast to the center of France. So, the lesser known uh, Loire Appalachian, the, the village of Quincy, uh, is located about 50 miles 
west of Sancerre on the, on the left bank of the Cher River. Now it's important to note that all Sancerres are Sauvignon Blancs, but not all Sauvignon Blancs are Sancerres based on location, AOC, all that stuff. Anyway, the climate uh, is warm. It's a continental climate, meaning very hot summers, very cold winters. Uh, the vines grow on sandy gravel terraces on a bed of upper Eocene limestone and, and leucostrine clay, which we'll put all that information in the description because, you know, here we go. And this particular uh, Sauvignon, Sauvignon Blanc was made by the Martin family who has been producing wine in the area since the early 19th century and is a small family-owned estate that sustains vines ranging from 50 to 80 years old. So those are good vines. And the fun fact is Quincy was the first Loire Valley vineyard to achieve AOC, AOC status back in August of 1936. So Quincy been around for a hot minute. Wow, it tastes delicious. Mm -hmm. What does AOC mean? Because people are like, AOC, yeah. you know, you keep saying that. So explain or yeah. let them know what they... For France, it's AOC. So like Italy would be DOC. And like, so everybody has their own designation. So for France, it's Appellation de Controli, which means that, that the like Champagne has the monopoly on calling it Champagne. If it's not made in Champagne, it's yeah. sparkling wine. Right. Okay. So it has to be made in champagne, which is AOC, to be okay. called champagne. So that's what it is. So that's, it's like the same thing for like cava. Cava is Spanish. So if it's made in a certain area, then it gets to be called cava. You know what right. I mean? You can't so be it's down just the about the region. It's a term for a region. It's about the region and the location. They have the rights to call it whatever, you know, they, they have the right to call it that particular thing. Like Sancerre, that's why we were saying earlier that that all Sancerres are Sauvignon Blancs, Blancs but, not, but not, not all Sauvignon Blancs are Sancerres. Yes. Because if it's not made in Sancerre, it can't be called, you know, Sancerre. Sancerre. Okay. Um, so you can't be down the street on the corner talking about you making up some 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 wine and you want to call it Sancerre. You down the street, boo. It's not gonna work. <laughs> you can't. You can't be. You can't be. No, it's not gonna work. Okay. <laughs> I hmm. love that. So you down the street and don't get it twisted. You down the street. You down the street and don't get it twisted. Get it twisted. Cause you, you, we know you're where you from. You're not in the we know where you you're from. Not in line. Yeah. We, we know you where your grapes is from, right? Hit hit the bricks. Hit the bricks. Get out of here with that. No, we're not doing that. So yeah. I like that. Okay. You guys, I absolutely love this Sauvignon Blanc. It is amazing and wonderful, but I do know that I need some food. But before I talk about that, if you have a favorite Sauvignon Blanc that you would love for us to try, please list it in the bottom in our comment section. And if we love it, we will put it on the show. But in the meantime, let's call Chef because I am starving. <laughs> Hi, Hi, Chef. Chef. Yeah, so today we are tasting, we are trying some Sauvignon Blanc from Quincy. You know, I'm very, I'm in a spontaneous mood and I do love Sauvignon Blanc from Quincy. But I would just walk the fish market. Maybe if I'm lucky, I'll find some D John Dory. John Dory. Yeah. John Dory. And uh, do simple pan roasts with that. Um, yeah. You know, maybe we found some veg at the farmer's market, but keep it real simple. Nice. Little oil, you know, really good salt, and just let the flavors of that fish complement the Quincy. You know, Chef, I noticed that a lot of your recommendations for us is about that. Like, you, you seem to be a big fan of not a lot of, of doctoring, just let the, um, what do you call it? Not, not ingredient, but let the, the main dish speak for itself based on its flavors, right? Yeah, well, if you uh, buy extremely uh, pristine product, there's no reason to doctor anything. Fair enough. Okay, yeah, I like I it. Try real hard. I to really do love it. Yeah, so more importantly, what's in your glass, Chef? We have a little Quincy, what you having? I got a little sparkling <laughs> vouvray. A little sparkling vouvray, okay, yeah, we like not, it. It's not champagne, but it's uh, it's vouvray, but it's, it's, it's quite tasty. 
All right, you know, Valetta, we have to add that to our list. Chef is drinking Vouvray. We need to have some Vouvray. Oh, my goodness. From, uh, Chef. Nice. 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 Well, Chef, thank you. You're the best, as always. Thank you, Chef. Uh, we'll see. But thanks so much for calling. I'll see you soon. Ciao, ciao. Bye, Chef. Bye, Chef. Thank you so much. Ooh. Mm. John Dory. Have I had John Dory? I can't think of if I had or not. But I'm down with the get down, girl. F O O D. My fit. That's my first word. I I came. I started speaking. Food. Right. So uh -huh. I have not, but whatever chef recommends, I am usually all down for it. So I'm like, okay, yeah. bring it on, chef. Whatever you say, I'm trying. You now. You try it unless it unless it's meat, because we know you don't eat meat. So oh, you I know, I know, but I didn't. <laughs> I, didn't I, I wanted to add that in, but you beat me to it. All right, you beat me to yeah. it. Yes, yeah, sure. uh, because there are certain things that when he when he says them, I know that they're all for me. The cheese is for yeah, me. The yeah. oysters are that's for true. me. The seafood's for me. Yeah. It's like thank you, chef. <laughs> he knows his girl. All right, cool. Well, everybody, it is our time. And remember to follow us on YouTube, Instagram, and Facebook at The Wind Down TV. And remember to laugh, love, and take great care of yourself. And drink lots of good Sauvignon Blanc when you do it. Cheers, we drink Cheers together again. We drink honey. together again. Mm. <laughs>